A full ENT examination requires flexible nasendoscopy. It is a scope which can be directed around corners. You'll need the scope, local anaesthetic, gloves, lubricant, sheath and tissues. Anaesthetize the patient's nose and get them to take a big sniff. You'll notice the scope has a lever on its body, which can be manipulated using the index finger or thumb. This flexes the tip of the scope, so it can go around corners. Plug the scope to the light source, and hold the shaft with your non-dominant hand. Use the sheath if it is departmental policy to do so, and lubricate it. An assistant is useful to hold the head, as patients tend to shy away. Lift the nostril up as you introduce the scope to the floor of the nose. Rest your non-dominant hand against the patient's face. Using your fingers, advance the scope to the patient's nasal cavity and pharynx. A view through the patient's left nostril would be as follows. The first landmarks you see are the septum and inferior turbinate. You'll then see the septum, middle turbinate, lateral to which lies the middle meatus. In the posterior nasal space you see the eustachian tube and the fossa of Rosenmuller. <coughs> Ensure the patient is breathing through their nose to allow passage past the soft palate. You will then see the vellecular and epiglottis, arytenoid cartilages and the piriform fossa behind. You can exaggerate this by asking the patient to blow again those lips, <coughs> creating a valsalva manoeuvre. Whilst vocalising, a mucosal wave can be seen if you have access to a strobe lighting device. 